Welcome to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Rhonda Anderson at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. This year, we have the special honor of, well, of recognizing the first round of award recipients for the association's bold new initiative, Pathway to Stop Diabetes, which will fund critical research for diabetes researchers over the next decade. The scientists that will receive critical support from Pathway to Stop Diabetes are using innovative and new approaches to diabetes research so we can ultimately end this disease. The scientists who have been awarded the Pathway to Stop Diabetes grant are either new to the study of diabetes research or they're established in other research fields and have decided to devote more of their attention to focus on diabetes. In either case, we're excited to meet all of our new award recipients. And right now, I'm joined by Dr. Wolfgang Petty, PhD from Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Congratulations, Dr. Petty. Thank you very much, Rhonda. So what does it mean receiving this money and this grant to support your research? Well, number one, it's a wonderful endowment that the American Diabetes Association and uh, uh, all the donors of the American Diabetes Association are giving me that they allow me to go into new research area of diabetes research, and I'm very excited about that. The Pathway Program is unique because it offers you mentorship and collaboration. How has that accelerated your research? Well, the mentorship just started here at the 74th Scientific Sessions. We had a mentorship meeting this morning, and it was wonderful. I met all the scientific advisors. I got already advice, so I'm looking forward to continue that over the next five years. This grant marks your first foray into diabetes research, as I mentioned. So what background do you bring to this project? Well, my group is a structural biology group, so I studied uh, a lot of chemistry and physics to understand biology in a very basic level, mechanistic level. So you, we use NMR spectroscopy, which is the high resolution um, brother or sister, if you want, of uh, NMR, uh, MRI spectroscopy is that we use often in hospitals to actually look at our body, we just use it to look at proteins and how they function, how they work. And so using these techniques allows us to get a very detailed view of things. And we have used them before in cancer research, in neurodegenerative diseases year research, and now we are applying it to diabetes research. So your project will apply innovative techniques you use successfully to identify new drug targets for other diseases and apply them to diabetes. So Tell us what's different about your approach of using multiple techniques to identify new drug targets. Exactly. That's great. Well, tell us what's different about your approach in using multiple techniques to identify the drug target. Well, what has been realized over the last couple of years is, and that's true literally for any research that you do, is the more techniques you have in your portfolio, the more likely you are succeeding. And that's right. exactly what we are doing. We're using NMR spectroscopy, X-ray crystallography, small angle X-ray scattering, anything that's available to actually answer the scientific question that we're looking for, increasing wow. our chances of success. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations thank again. Thank you very much for having me. We're currently accepting nominations for our second round of award recipients for Pathway to Stop Diabetes through July 1st, 2014. If you'd like to have more information about Pathways to Stop Diabetes, visit our website, diabetes.org pathway. And for continued coverage, up-to-date information, and more interviews, make sure you stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news.